aid on here. Okay, well, I looked in my uh, open camera settings, and every time you touch any, any even somewhere else from, it's one of those toggle on, toggle off settings for the uh, restart the video when it gets to the maximum file size, and uh, it seems real tricky. Okay. I'm not sure. It seems like it actually, once you go out of the uh, video settings screen and then go back in, it's taking itself out every time, it seems like. But then again, you have to touch to scroll, so it may be that's what's doing it, even though you're touching in a different area. So, um, I'm not sure what's going on there. And you get you can get up to 6.75 minutes and then it stops. Uh, pretty much at uh, one, it's a one gigabyte file size by that time at uh, 30 frames per second, uh, 1080 by whatever 1200. Same as re that screen we're looking at right there, that 24 inch monitor. Or is mo most of your your pretty common res video resolution these days on a desktop. <coughs> so anyway, <coughs> um, I went to sleep. So, um, there's some more settings in there that uh, you can set how long, how many minutes you can let it play, and then you can have it restart up to 10 times. I actually went ahead and set it restart up to 10 times to see if that would help, but I didn't set the minutes because I just wanted to go by file size. But that might be the only other option to get it to restart is to set the... Uh, I guess I could do like six minutes and have it restart every six minutes. Either that or drop my, uh, my bit rate down to 10 again, and then I would get more. I really want to be able to get 10, to, you know, at least 20 minutes, really, without it stopping. So I might, ch I might end up uh, compromising on my uh, bit rate, but it does look noticeably better. At least when you you know you when you're trying to show text on a on your screen and stuff like that, which is a good way to tell you know what your quality of your video, how much definition you're getting. You can read that text, and that's pretty good. Good enough. I mean, it's not it's not like a DSLR or something, or even a good um, video camera, but uh, for says that this phone is supposedly 5 megapixel, but it's only recording. I was looking in there in the settings, and it shows exactly what your set high settings are. It actually shows, whenever I, I was looking a minute ago, and I'm getting, you know, 10, uh, 1080. Basically what you'd call 1080p. That's what the TV, a lot, most of your TVs are. A lot of them are these days. Uh, I guess there's higher rated ones now, 1080i, and then even bigger now. Got 4K TVs, but uh, um, it shows that it can do two, 2,000 and something. But it also shows that it's two. It's recording. The highest you can set this in is two megapixels. Camera's supposed to be a five megapixel camera, so I don't quite get that. Seems like there's a lot of fudging going on in, in statistics and specs these days, isn't there? Uh, of course, this is an af uh, aftermarket camera app open called Open Camera, but there's no reason why it wouldn't. Uh, that's it right there. There's no reason why it wouldn't take, do everything that the uh, that your camera can do. You know, there's no reason why it would be restricted because. This is an open source app. It's not a, uh, evidently untypically for Android stuff. I've been I'm Linux big Linux user been since 2005, and uh, I'm used to open source and things that are fully functional. And this Android apps are very much like Windows freeware and shareware. It's a lot of it's limited functionality, but. Uh, yeah, it says it'll do all so sorts of sizes, including HD, but HD is sort of a relative term. That could be anything from 720p to 
1080i to even more than that, it's still HD, you know, until you get up into 4K. So that's what I'm kind of talking about about these uh, ratings and specs and so on. So um, you got to you got to get down. Anyway, it's a, it's a great app. You get fine tune everything. If it's pretty cool, but. Uh, um, and it does make better videos and pictures than the uh, app that came with this camera, this Alcatel A845L. So, um, I always end up manage to talk long enough to to. I'm sitting there looking. The screen has a lot of countdown stuff. I've turned on all the kind of all the stuff it has. What I didn't realize is the countdown up at the top left. It it tells the time, not the uh, not the frames per second. I thought it was frames per second. Not that I was still going, and I wasn't. And uh, but yeah, every time I make one of these videos, it's another gigabyte. Now I'm down to 15.4 gigabytes. So it's gonna take stuff fast. So uh, I would need a big backup server if I keep doing this. It, it's an uh, old angle and, and direction. Yeah, I've got all that turned on. It helps. It helps you. If you see the little green, your crosshairs turn green, then you know you're pretty straight on to to uh, things that are straight on, things that are level, like this monitor is fairly level. <laughs>